Now, tell me, is this what the kids are calling snatched these days? Is that what this is? Am, am I snatched? Hey guys, this is past me making a 24 hours after election day bingo board for future me. I'm gonna be putting this bingo card together while I uh, demo this look that I literally just threw together while I was just sitting here chatting. Um, pretty proud of that. Didn't uh, look any pictures or planted at all, and I think, I think I nailed it. Today is the, oop, just started a timer. The 26th of October. I'm gonna post this video the Thursday after the election and see how I did. Okay, so I'm starting with e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. There we go. And while I'm letting that dry a little bit, I'm gonna put on my bingo board that somebody from the primary, haha, <laughs> get it, because I just did primer, somebody that was running for president in the Democratic primary is going to call Trump some sort of derogatory name. This one's kind of borderline because we do have Elizabeth Warren saying um, that he's a desperate man. And we do have Bernie Sanders saying, this is how demagogues destroy faith in democracy. So they didn't outright do it, but like they did not not. So I'm gonna try this new thing that I saw on the interwebs that's supposed to help uh, cover up uh, wrinkles because apparently after your After you've gone through your fourth presidential election cycle as an adult, you start getting fine lines all over your face. Mmm, kind of goopy. I don't know if this was a good choice. Foundation, same as always. L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover 302. This may actually be new since the last time I made a video, but uh, this is my new go-to. So next up on my bingo card, I am going to put, and honestly, this might need to just be like the the, the free space because this is just 100% gonna happen, but I'll put it on one of the outsides. Um, Trump is going to throw a tantrum and yell at a reporter within the first 24 hours. That's just given. I have to say, I'm actually truly shocked on this one. Unless you count the battle between him and Twitter over his fraudulent, tweets about fraud, um, his handlers have uh, really kept him under control. Uh, there has been uh, no giant public in-person tantrums. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that powder trick was a total fail. It's like totally clumped up in my pores, so I kind of messed up. Yeah, I messed this up really bad. I'm gonna have to... Speaking of mess ups, Florida is going to mess something up. That's going on my bingo card. There's no way that like something doesn't go wrong in Florida. I don't know what it's gonna be, but something is gonna go wrong in Florida. Another shocker here. Uh, somehow Florida did really well. They got their votes in really quick, uh, pretty smoothly. Let's see, I gotta start all over. Mm, you know what? Speaking of starting over. I bet that Trump is going to demand a recount. Don't know of what state, maybe the whole freaking election. Quite possibly, we'll do a national lawsuit and really expose the corruption of the Democrat party. But within the first 24 hours after the election, Trump is going to demand a recount. President Trump is demanding a recount in Wisconsin. Democratic candidate Joe Biden leads by just over 20,000 votes there. And CBS News projects Biden as a presumptive winner. There's going to be a state that goes blue that has not gone blue since Bill Clinton or before. Now, neither of these happened in the first 24 hours, but Georgia and Arizona, and Georgia hasn't been called yet as of 3.09 p.m. on November 5th, um, but Associated Press and Fox News have called Arizona. So I'm going to go ahead and count this one. Okay, finally got my foundation fixed. I can almost guarantee you 
that Trump is going to say something racist within the first 24 hours after the election? I mean, somehow, no. Unless you just count voter suppression because it's kind of inherently racist and is part of a racist system. But otherwise, no. showing y'all this. This is new. Uh, it's a Wet n' Wild Hello Halo brush lighter duo. I like it. It's fun. Brow time! There will be no concession speeches in the first 24 hours. Guarantee. Not gonna happen. Honestly, I bet Trump won't ever give a concession speech. I mean, this wasn't a leap at all. But what I didn't count on, and I mean, like, why didn't I realize that there would be premature victory speeches? We were getting ready to win this election, frankly, we did win this election. So his um, tweet per day record is 200. And that was on uh, June 5th of this year. I bet, and by he, I mean Trump, of course. Um, I bet that he uh, beats that record between 7.30 p.m. on November 3rd and 7.30 p.m. on November 4th. Over 200 tweets my call. Actually, um, only 15 tweets on November 4th, but a third of those were blocked by Twitter. So maybe he got discouraged and didn't tweet as much. Okay, hear me out on this one. A Republican that is running for office, whether it's an incumbent or a challenger, somewhere in the country is going to test positive or hear back from a result that they are positive for COVID. Boom, nailed it. Down to the Republican. Pretty, pretty impressive myself. Y'all, I slayed this wing if I do say so myself, which I do. How are we feeling about this color? Hmm. I think it's too pink. Dang. I'm gonna go look at it in the full length mirror with the whole outfit. Yep, it was definitely too pink. We're gonna do this boy instead. Good old faithful. Perfect. All right, let's see how I did. but not great. If you think I'm cool and want to listen to me gab some more, please hit subscribe. Go check out my video from last week about the behavior of voting that I'm actually about to film right now because time is just more like a wibbly wobbly timey wimey ball of stuff. On this channel, I do a lot of random videos because I have ADHD, do some chatting about ADHD, do some tech stuff because I'm into that, talk a lot about behavior and relational frame theory, do some makeup, and just be really cool. Uh, if you stick around enough, you might even catch a glimpse of my really cute puppies.